Okay, so the kangaroo is provided with um, additional accessories to um, improve capacity of kangaroo. So first one, primary accessory is a standard large um, US wireless USB keyboard, uh, including a memory keypad. Uh, we choose a French keyboard and a um, big, huge one keyboard because many, many clients are having difficulties using a small keyboard like uh, you'll find on a laptop. However, Kangaroo is compatible with uh, all uh, USB as well as Bluetooth keyboard. So if you prefer a smaller keyboard, you'll be able to pair it or connect um, a smaller keyboard. Under the keyboard, there is um, a trap, so you can remove this. You have two AAA batteries as well as the USB uh, key that you can uh, plug into the Kangaroo. So that's the key that will um, receive the signal sent by the keyboard so here i'm plugging the usb key okay uh, so the the keyboard is now uh, ready to work with kangaroo second accessory is the uh, sonic wave uh, bluetooth speaker uh, that's uh, small speakers with three buttons on the top so if you put the, the speakers as well as the logo in front of you, uh, the button near you is the on and off button, so the power button. If you press and hold this button, the Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Okay, there we go. I just increase the volume. So uh, the Bluetooth speaker is ready to pair. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. So actually, if we turn on the kangaroo, this speaker will be uh, ready to work um, and provide you uh, sounds. You can adjust the volume using uh, two other buttons. So the middle one, uh, if you press and hold this button, will decrease the volume. And the top button, if same thing, if you press and hold this button, will increase the volume. By the way, you can also adjust the volume using um, the two keys located on the top of the keyboard at the extreme right. Okay, so if you don't if you don't want to um, play with the speaker, you can also adjust the volume using uh, the keyboard itself, the wireless keyboard. Uh, speakers is compatible, is Bluetooth compatible, 3.5 audio in. Uh, the speaker also includes an FM tuner and uh, can read music uh, on USB drive as well as uh, an SD card. So you can alternate between modes by pressing twice the uh, power button. FM tuner. That's the FM radio, so no signal here because we are inside. The Bluetooth device okay. is ready to so help. I press again twice. Uh, actually, we are uh, only Bluetooth and FM because nothing is plugged behind the speaker. So behind the speakers, there's um, a couple of entries. So on the top left, that's the uh, 3.5 audio in port. On the right, that's the mini USB port used to uh, charge the speaker. And again on the right, there's two uh, slots. So the top one is the micro SD card slots. Uh, so where we can put an SD card containing MP3 or WAV files, so the speaker can read the stuff on the SD card. And under this, that's the uh, USB port used to uh, plug um, USB keys. The third accessory is the uh, micro. Uh, it's the uh, uh, four USB hubs. So that's. Um, uh, small hub so you can plug the uh, USB cable into one of the uh, USB port of the kangaroo Four USB ports are available on it So with the kangaroo you'll be able to use a uh, six USB port instead of three when using the the small hubs and on the hubs There is some small button. So if you press the button um, Make sure to press the button to activate the USB port if you release the button there we go. Whoops. Uh, when releasing the button, um, USB port will be turned off. Okay. Final accessories: the micro SD card. So um, 
uh, I showed you the card earlier. So the micro SD card allowed to uh, store up to 64 gigabytes of data. Actually, the SD card for the demo we provide you is a 32 uh, gigabyte um, card. However, uh, uh, usually for clients, we are providing uh, 164 um, GB uh, micro SD card or two 32 uh, GB SD card, micro SD cards. So here are the accessories for Kangaroo. 